Hi there, good morning. It is Friday the 17th of June and it is hot, um, very hot here at school. So um, thank you to parents and carers who have provided hats, plenty of water and, and some sun, um, sun cream. Um, there's, there's been lots of people enjoying the weather over this last week, which is great to see because um, we like to see outdoor learning, practical learning as much as possible. So having nice weather supports that, although it's almost, almost too hot. But um, so there's been lots of trips out this week, which is great, um, taking advantage of the weather, but also the local area to do lots of learning. So thank you to staff for organising those. Uh, thank you to Miss Meehan, who's been conducting lots of transition visits for new pupils that are coming in year seven. Um, hopefully they've enjoyed it. Um, thank you to the staff members who took part in the year 11 parents evening um, earlier this week. I hear that was very successful. Um, and thank you to all those parents and carers that attended that as well. Um, we had a visitor from Teen Unite into C11S um, earlier this week as well, and I hear that went very well. Um, so I spent a bit of time this week asking, or well, this morning, asking teachers um, and members of teaching staff what their highlights of the week have been in terms of learning. So I'm just going to go through a few of those. So um, always nice for me to hear hear people um, talking about such things. So thank you to everyone that contributed this morning. So um, the first thing is a group of year 10 and 11 pupils who are working on, on um, like a pop art project um, and it's a tribute to the Queen's Jubilee. So apparently I'll get to see some of that later this afternoon. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Sounds very interesting. Um, Jack M in year 11 used the treadmill independently for, for the first time this week, which is fantastic. So. Um, working on core strength and balance and things like that and Jack's been a bit a bit worried about getting on there and using that machine independently so he's, he's spent a lot of time practicing with some support and he's done that by himself today so well done Jack that's, that's absolutely amazing. Jaden in year 8 um, has produced some excellent handwriting this week um, and has been practicing that using his name so writing his name. Joe B in year 7 has created some complex um, sentences using loads of adjectives which is um, something well using lots is something that's a bit new for Joe so well done to Joe. 8H have shown lots of improvement in their ability to use the um, analog clock to tell the time. 8C um, have been working very hard on their phonological knowledge and, and applying that to decode rows when, words sorry, when they're reading so well done to 8C. Um, Lila Rose in year 7 um, did some fantastic um, artwork which showed her applying her learning so she they've been learning a lot about different countries um, and, and the different sort of traditions um, in terms of dress and food and, and other traditions that happen in each country and she's um, applied that to her artwork so I've got a wonderful example of that on my wall so thank you to Lila Rose for, for sharing that with me I'm very grateful um, Ellie in year nine has improved in her water confidence. So they've been going paddle boarding and it's been very wary of going near the water. And this week she managed to paddle her toes in the water. So that's really nice, nice to hear. So well done, Ellie. Um, so well done to all, all of those people involved. Upcoming events next week. Unfortunately, it's year 11's last week. So we'll be sad to see them leave on Thursday is, the, is their last day. Um, it'd be nice to have a celebration assembly Wednesday afternoon and there's lots of nice events happening for, for year 11 through the week and, and kind of culminating in um, a prom on Saturday evening so I'll see, I'll see you there if you're going. Pegasus round two so that's the sailing trip if you remember so Mr Goss um, led that and a group of students went and then we had an opportunity to take a second group of students on the same trip at a later date so that happens next week as well thanks thank you again to mr goss for doing that i know there's a lot of work involved in in organizing and prepping for that trip um and we have some ta interviews next week so that would be good to um hopefully find some people that that will fit well with pinewood and and we can welcome them into school um either later this academic year or in september so into news um, unfortunately more flights have been cancelled from Gatwick due to staff shortages that's, that's sort of continuing in, into the summer at the moment um, so that's a bit of a shame hopefully it doesn't affect any of our community um, England have appointed the first woman's health ambassador so that's quite exciting um, 
and she's sort of campaigning and looking to improve um, the, the service women get in terms of their health so that that should be that should be really positive um, Everest base camp uh, is moving so Nepal where, where Everest is they're looking to move the base camp to a lower height um, uh, and altitude because where it currently is the, the glacier is is melting I and mean, they're putting that down to global warming but also the amount of human ha at, human activity at base camp and the effect that that's having on the ice so that's going to move move slightly lower where there's there's not um, a glacier so it shouldn't affect that so that's that's interesting and shows the signs of global warming and other things um, there's a study that's come out saying that the Omicron variant of COVID is less likely to cause long-term effects so um, that's kind of good news I suppose if um, that it's not creating long-term effects but obviously we wish COVID wasn't there in the first place um, so Revlon um, a, a big company in sort of the beauty industry they're filing for bankruptcy um, they're struggling to to make ends meet due to increasing cost of, of the ingredients that they they use for their products so that's that's a bit of a shame they've been going for quite a long time um, into sport so England cricket are currently playing against Holland um, and have started quite well um, it's the US Open that started yesterday and that will go through the weekend an ex-Russian footballer who's captain of Russia actually has spoken out um, about the invasion of Ukraine um, which is is a very bold thing to do um, so so well done to him um, it's the Premiership Rugby final tomorrow um, so that'll be exciting so Saracens um, against Leicester I believe and it's also the Royal Ascot Horse Racing Festival again that started earlier this week and run, will run through um, for the next few days uh, the year group focus this week is year 7 and 7S so they're going to talk to you a little bit about some of the learning that they've been doing and there should be some really nice photos to go along with that um, of, of the sort of start of the, the new topic which was, re which was really exciting so thank you to Miss Wills and other members of staff that are involved in organising that. That's it from me, have a lovely weekend um, and I'll speak to you again soon, thank you. So here we are in our 7S travel agents. Anna, we've started a new topic. Can you remember its name? Round the world. A big wide Round world. world. And to start our topic off, Sarah, what did we have to do first? Go on an aeroplane. Go on an aeroplane. And to go on an aeroplane, we had to go somewhere special. Can you remember the name of the place we needed to go? Can you, Ariana? What is it called? A big round the world. Oh, that's the name of our topic. We needed to go to the Airport. airport. Fatima, what did you have to do to get ready for the airport? Um, you have to get your passports. Josh, what did you have to do to get ready for the airport? I packed my suitcase. What kinds of things did you pack? I packed... I packed shorts, some cream, some glasses, mm, towels, inflatable items you've got your suitcase there haven't you yes how does the suitcase move you have to carry the, the thing on top of it the hanger and is it on wheels or do you have to hold it it's on wheels so we needed to go to the airport didn't we to get our flight can anybody remember which continent we were flying to we went to Europe. Fantastic. And um, when you were going to the airport, what were you feeling? I was feeling excited. How about you? Um, me too. I was excited as well. Oh, amazing. So what was the first thing you needed to do when you got to the airport? You had to check in, did you? Um, so, we had to weigh our bags as well. Had to weigh bags. What did you get once you checked in? What did the passport person give you? Uh, um, the, 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 the ticket inspector. The ticket inspector. What did they give you? A? A ticket. A ticket to get onto the plane. Once you got your ticket, then what did you do? Then you 
Get on the plane. Get on the plane. Did you have to check the time? Um, check what time the plane arrived. About, um, about like, like ten. 10.43. Amazing. Oh. So Sarah and Fatima, you had important jobs on the plane. What was your important job? To um to um to do to do the safety check. To do the safety checks. Were you cabin crew? Yeah. Yeah, and you were super cabin crew, weren't you? Shall we give a little safety demonstration? Can you remember it? Okay, the exits are here. Here and here. Wow, that was fantastic. Was it your job to keep everyone safe on the plane? Yeah, and was it a safe flight? Yeah. What did you see on your flight? Did you see anything interesting out of the window? Yeah. Don't know, lots of clouds maybe? Yeah, well, well done for keeping everyone safe on the plane. Once you got off the plane, once your flight had landed, we needed to go through border control, didn't we? And George, what was your job at Border Control? Check your passport. To check the passports, to check everyone is who they say they are. Do you want to show us what you had to do? Yes. Go on then. What's your name? My name is Fatima. Thank you. I have the front Spain, Czech Republic, Greece. Egypt, Mafia, Kenya, South Africa. Yep, that's you. Uh, Once you landed and got through passport control, which continent had you landed on? Europe. Europe. And we visited four different countries, didn't we? Mm. France, Spain, Greece and the Czech Republic. Can anyone remember what we did in Greece? I ate Greek food. Did you? Did you like it, George? Mm, I didn't like the olives. You didn't like the olives. Oh, well done for trying them. Fatima, can you remember anything we did in the Czech Republic? Mm, Bobby Joe read us a story in Czech. Oh, did he? That's so special. Yeah. How about in Spain? Uh, we we drank um, Spain hot chocolate. Did you? Did you have... Some churros too. Yeah. Oh, how special. And what did you do in France, George? Uh, we learned about animals. Did you? Did you taste anything in France? Bread and croissant and cheese. Did you? And did you like it? Mm. Yeah. Thank you for talking to me about Europe. So what was your favourite part of going to the airport? The aeroplane. The aeroplane. How about you, Katie? Did you? And you had a special job, didn't you? You were checking everyone's passports at border control. Yes. Lovely. And what's your favourite country so far that you've been to? Greece. Greece. How about you, Katie? Yes. France. What colours are on the French flag? Blue, white. What's the last one? Blue. Blue, white, white. and? Red. Red, well done. And what kind of special book have you got? Red. You've got an atlas, haven't you, that you've been looking through? Mm -hmm. Amazing, well done. After we visited Europe, we visited the continent of Africa. Lila Rose, can you remember the four countries that we visited? South Africa, Namibia, Egypt, and Kenya. Did you have fun? Evie, we went to South Africa and you tasted something. What food did you taste? Um, rock tart and dry fruit and milk tart. Mm -hmm. In Kenya, we went on a safari. Harrison, can you remember any of the animals you spotted? Uh, at where? On the where? Did it have a long neck? Yeah. And I see the lion. 
Tiga Wak Kitaya Eta E Tiwa Hanina Ayo Hippo And a hippo? Oh my goodness, what a lot of things you spotted! Did you have fun? Yeah! We also went to Egypt. What did you have to build in Egypt? I built a Egypt. Oh, yeah. Did you build a pyramid? A pyramid, yeah. <gasps> Where did you have to build the pyramid? It's a in the desert. Oh, that was in Egypt, wasn't it? We built the pyramid in Egypt. In, Egypt. in the desert, using sand.